Okay, let us start with the thirteenth question of chapter three from Zetili, second edition. So the question says that the momentum and operator. So let's say the momentum and the total energy can be measured simultaneously only when the potential is constant everywhere. Okay. So before directly jumping into the question, I would like to take a detour and uh, figure out the terms. What do we mean by the measurement of simultaneous measurements? Okay, if you remember the Heisenberg uncertainty principle for position and momentum, that is uh, delta x and delta p is greater than or equal to h cut by two. All right, now. Uh, this is for two specific operators. Now, if I go on for generalizing this thing for some random operator A and some random operator B, the uncertainty between two is always greater than or equal to half modulus of expectation of A and competitor of A and B gap. So this is a very general statement. Okay. Now, if A and B are measured simultaneously, It means that the product of two thus is zero, which implies our mod of expectation of commutator of the two operators is zero. And that is nothing but the Commutator of A and B are zero. So if two operators commute, then they can be measured simultaneously. So we are asked to show that momentum and energy, total energy, can be measured simultaneously. So we have to show that momentum, that is operator P, and Hamiltonian, that is total energy should be equals to zero if potential if our potential a very generalized potential which depends on position and time is constant everywhere by constant everywhere it means it is constant in space not the time so there is no condition on time so it is constant in time a constant in space Okay, so if our potential is constant in space, then our, we have to show that the commutator of P and to, momentum and total energy is zero, which will imply that the momentum and energy can be measured simultaneously. Okay, now how do I write my total energy? It is written as E cap square by 2m plus V of R bar comma T. Okay, now we will replace R bar comma T by only T because in the previous page we have seen that it depends only on line, not the position. It's constant in position. Okay, now the two basic identities which we will be using over here are if A and some function of A will always commute. Okay, so this is one of the things we are going to use now. So, P cap 
which cap equals to p cap p square by 2m plus v of t we have p p square by 2m plus p cap v of t now from this identity we can say that this reduces to zero okay and now we have to show p cap and v of t what is the combination of p, p cap and v of t so we can put the value of p cap as minus ih curl into del operator v of t okay now using some test function on this combinator that is minus i h cut del v of t applied on some test function psi we get minus i h cut v of t into psi minus minus i h cut v of t into delta bar into psi okay now since this potential is not dependent on any position and this gradient is based on the position that this is independent of the position so it will come up minus i h equal v t gradient of psi plus i h equal vt gradient of psi so this will be zero this implies that momentum and potential that is constant in space are com uh, do commute okay now substituting this into our previous equation over here we get p momentum and total energy commutes now going back to our initial discussion that we have started it's now since p and h cap commutes then i can say that the average value of p cap and h cap or the mean value is which is actually denoted by some wave function acting on p and h now since this is zero psi zero psi okay so this whole will reduce to zero okay i hope like you get this we can expand this whole commutator over here and once again redo the whole calculation which we have done in this slide and we can show that this is nothing but zero and this overall will reduce to zero so now mod of some zero is nothing but zero so p and h cap equals to half zero this implies momentum and hamiltonian can be measured simultaneously over here our hamiltonian is nothing but the total energy of system and the condition that we have used is potential 
is constant in space all right i hope this is clear and this summarizes everything what is needed for the question thank you for watching the video